Hello, it's Girl from a Girl and Her Librarian. And I'm here today to review The Bone Witch, which is part of the Osseus Chronicles by Ivy Asher. Now, I had high hopes for this book. Um, I read the sort of blurb and thought, oh, that sounds, that sounds quite fun. It says, I never thought in a million years that the bones would choose me. The power of the magic was supposed to go to someone else in my family and I was counting on it. But now Grandma Ruby is good and here the bones sit on my kitchen table. So she is now the osteomancer in her family. And there's lots of different witches in this world, but I'll get to that in a moment. When I started this book, there was a little humour in it. And that was, I thought, okay, that'll, that'll grow on me. But as it went on, the humour got a little toilet humour, quite a lot. Whilst the girl was trying to be funny, it kind of fell flat for me throughout the book. I appreciate the overall story is, you know, she she's just become the witch, you know, the, the next in line in her family. She wasn't expecting it. She hasn't really studied properly under her grandma. She's not really prepared for it. And then this guy comes along expecting to see her grandma, realising that grandma's dead. And he needs, he needed her help. The girl, <laughs> Lennox, has got her familiar. A witch has a familiar that she can draw on and ground her. And that's her dog. Right? The problem is, this new witch comes along, Rogan, who's supposed to be tall, dark and handsome, and binds her to him as his familiar. Okay? She didn't ask for it. She's really, really upset about it. Pest, I think is the word I'd use. They fight. Then he says, I need you to help me find my brother. And then we start this journey. Now, if you thought that this was going to be cleared up in one book, no. And that's where I kind of fell on my face here. Because I got to 75% of the way through the book and still not much has happened. What has happened through this book already could have been done in a fraction of the time. And honestly, I found it quite flat and boring. There's only so many times that I can hear an author reference a dog who's got really bad wind and find it funny. There's only so many times that this girl can put her foot in it and me think it's cute. And honestly, I don't really care about her. And I'm really upset that this book, I wanted to like it. I really, really wanted to like it. And I just can't. Now, there's three books so far in the series, although the third one isn't due out until I think it's uh, June or July this year, 2021. But I just, I don't, I have no desire to figure out what happens in the next book. I have no care as to what the next steps are in their journey, whether his brother will be found, what, you know, what the Order want him for, why he keeps things from Lennox, why, you know, what's he doing, what's he playing at, and I just, everything seems, uh, flat is the only word I can really use for it, I guess. There's quite a lot of profanity in it, which doesn't bother me, I mean, I don't mind profanity at all, but she does use quite a lot of it for this girl, and it's a bit, I want to say unladylike, but that's a bit sexist, I suppose, but it is, it's, it's not in character with her humour, and the toilet humour and the, you know, the sex humour isn't really funny, it borders on being a little bit I guess cliched, not cliched so much as just a bit off. <laughs> so bordering on the yuck instead of the actual fun, I guess is what you'd call it. And so I have this thing where I had this wonderful book that I had so much on and the front cover is fantastic. And I don't, I don't want to, I, I just, I can't recommend it. And then you've got The Blood Witch is book two. And then you've got The Bound Witch, which is supposed to be book three coming out. 
and the front covers are fantastic, I love them, but it just doesn't translate at all. And now I have the thing where I've not read this author before, so maybe I'm just not clicked into the way she writes. And she has other series. She has the Lost Sentinel series, which I think it says is related. The Lost Sentinel series, the Hellgate Guardians, and the Shadowed Wings. Now, Shadowed Wings look like it might be good because they look like griffins on the front with a pretty girl. So I may have a look at those. But that's the problem with reading a first book of someone and you don't enjoy it. You then kind of put yourself off of reading their other books. I hope this doesn't put you off of trying it at least. It may be just the way it's written doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. But if you give it a try or you've read it already, please, please let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Give me some idea of where your head is at with this book. And maybe we can have a... A good discussion in the comments. I would love for you to subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, come and say hi, that would be fantastic. I want to say a thank you to Mute Errant for the introduction he wrote for me and I'll let him play us out and like I say please come along, say hi, follow my Goodreads and my YouTube and if you've got any books you think I should read and review please send along um, recommendations, I'd love to. Take care. Bye-bye.